Hey, man, growing out of fucking clothes. How did, we didn't grow out of shit when we was growing up. Because they bought you shit you couldn't grow out of. Three years old with them goddamn grown man jeans on. They got to couple them up 74 times. You grow a little bit, they uncouple them. Then you got them fucking white lines down your leg. Everybody can tell how old your ass is. You 15, huh? Ain't you 15? How the fuck you know I was 15? We was growing up had three kind of clothes. School clothes, church clothes, play clothes. You got home from school, had to put in your play clothes, but you couldn't play them, motherfuckers. They were just tight ass old school clothes. <laughs> Come here! I can't bend my leg. Somebody gonna need to let the him out. My wife get mad at me, talking about, you cuss too much in front of the kids. Cussing paid for this goddamn house. That's the fuck happened. Them kids going to college because I can cuss, goddammit. I think kids should learn how to cuss. That'll stop them from getting kidnapped. You hear me? You be in the mall, you hear somebody shout out, I don't know this motherfucker! You go and leave, turn around. God damn, that little bastard show. <laughs> he sure do talk bad. <laughs> I remember we was growing up, white folk was a male, man. You got your mail early in the motherfucker, didn't you, boy? You woke up, your mail was there. They let black folk in the post office. You don't get your mail till dark sometimes. <laughs> you be on your way to a club. Here go your mail, player. Motherfucker, it's dark outside. I had shit to do. You ain't the only motherfucker on my route. They don't know how good they got it, man. They talking about how good a job this George Bush doing. I don't get it, man. The deficit is fucked up. Economy is fucked up. If I get laid off, nuclear war about to break. Pakistan and India about to go to war. The two brokest fucking motherfuckers in the whole world. They ain't got, they ain't got, ain't, can't feed nobody, but they can blow some shit up. Who gon' who gonna have the strength to mash the goddamn button? Blow them up. I would, Sahib, but I am so hungry. Please, I would. <laughs> I want a sandwich or something, please, Sahib, because I know the cow is sacred, but a happy meal would be so nice. Please, please, I would. People fucking around over there in Pakistan. All these reporters from the Wall Street Journal going there fucking around in Pakistan. See, black folk know when the fuck to stay out of shit. You ain't seen nobody from Ebony or Essence, nowhere in the motherfucker. We do not fuck around. I want to leave this country. I'll just go to Mississippi. Fuck that shit. This black folk in Mississippi don't even know they're free. You better not be reading like that, man. They don't like it when you're too smart. Taking people hostage and all that shit. You better not do that to black folk. You will never get your fucking money. I had no son. He will not come home unless we have three million dollars. <laughs> three million dollars. Put him on the phone. I told you about fucking around with them people, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? You don't believe that me greasy over there acting all light skin, huh? Now you're ass in the twist, ain't you? Look, I don't even get paid to the 15th. See if I can look, put a little something on your ass. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put your mama on the phone. I'm sure she want to say bye. <laughs> Earlene, hurry up. That's a long distance call now. The boy calling from Pakistan. We just different, man. We do different shit. Like white folks talk shit to the police. You ever see them do that shit? Hurry up and write some goddamn tickets, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking pig. Give me a bad number. That shit do not work for black folks, do it? Give me a bath number. I don't want it anymore. I know my rights. And then right at the end of your night stick. Oh no, black folk got a whole different relationship with the police, don't we? You ever had the police behind you so long you get suspicious of your goddamn self? <laughs> well, maybe I did kill them motherfuckers. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn myself in. I'm just saying. 
I guess they do know what they're talking about. I see. We don't fuck around like that, man. White folks don't know when to leave a building. They don't know when shit is bad. Like, some men black folks, we can just tell when a motherfucker crazy, can't we? Look at this motherfucker right here. I'm going to stand next to the time clock. Fuck this shit. You shoot this place up, I'm going to be in the parking lot on time and a half. I knew someone was on my knee hurting like a motherfucker. White folks just don't get it. You could walk in with a shotgun. What are you doing in here with that shotgun? This is the post office. Pa- Black folk be outside. Fuck my car! Oh, Lord, they done killed the supervisor. Hey, I'm going to apply for the position tomorrow. Shit. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. We, even the way that we deal with the weather is different. Like, white folk cannot take the heat. You're, oh, Lord, I'm hot. It's sweltering. Aren't you sweltering? I don't even know what the fuck that means. But if it means hot in the motherfucker, then I ex- I am so hot at sweltering. Black folk, we can handle the heat because we grew up with no air conditioning. Mama's going to be hot today. We're running in clothes and drapes. Why? So the heat don't think nobody home? <laughs> Your hot cousin moving around and sit still. What kind of fucking plan is that? We can't handle the cold. Cold fuck us up, don't it? You ever smile in the cold, slit your lip right down the middle? <laughs> Motherfucker, shit. I knew I should have been laughing. Fuck around with you. Shit. You can't never put enough lotion on your hands when it get real cold. Hands be ashy in the motherfucker. You look like an usher. <laughs> your seat right there, player. Go ahead on. Too. It can be too cold for black folks to go to work sometimes, can't it? Get up in the morning, touch that window up. Oh, fuck that shit, eh? Ooh, they'll see me in the spring. Ooh, I'm using them sick days. <laughs> White folk never get cold. They'll go to a football game outside with just paint on. Yeah! It's brisk. I'm just brisk. Black folk be cold all the fucking time. I don't even watch the weather no more. I just look out my window and see if I see white folk wearing jackets. This motherfucker got a coat on. We can't go outside. <laughs> She's wearing a hat, too. Let's move. Even the way we poor is different. Like, white folk poor ain't living trailer home. We poor, we live in the project. Because you can't get no brother in the house you can drive away in. <laughs> Not if you want your rent money, huh? <laughs> Where's my money? I spend it on gas. I guess there's some advantages to having your house on wheels. Like if your kitchen catch on fire and the police department takes fire department taking too long to come, you can pull up in the driveway. You motherfuckers heard me call y'all. Now get in the kitchen, put my shit out. I got pork chops in there. Not that black folks don't do no crazy shit because we do. Everybody, OJ crazy ass. See, that black jury didn't let OJ go because they was racist. We let OJ go because we couldn't figure out how two motherfuckers got killed with one knife. You couldn't kill two black people with the same, in the same year with the same knife. <laughs> oh, my knee hurting. Some shit gonna happen. I see y'all in. Fuck, you kill two people in the middle of the night, don't nobody hear shit. You pull a knife on a brother, you hear him all the way to Egypt, won't you? Ah! He got a knife! White folk got too quiet. Make some noise. Let a motherfucker know you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't want to wake my neighbors up. Shit. I am sweltering. Aren't you sweltering? This motherfucker down in New York seven years ago shot all them people up on the subway. Then stupid enough to try to defend his own goddamn self. You see him cross-examining people, uh, how come you said I shot you? <laughs> because you did? No further questions, Your Honor. The bitch line, I ain't shot her. No good and goddamn well, I ain't shot that woman. <laughs>